Good evening. It's 7 o'clock, and we have two meetings tonight. First is the Cunningham Town Board, which will be followed by the regular meeting of the Urbana City Council. I'd like to call the meeting of the Cunningham Town Board to order. Would the clerk please call the roll? Ms. Sammons? Here. Mr. Brown? Here. Mr. Jacobson? Mr. Madigan? Ms. Marlin? Here. Mr. Roberts? Here. Mr. Smythe? Here. Mayor Pressing? Here. The first item is the minutes of the previous meeting, January 13th, 2014. I'll move their approval. Second. Second. Motion by Roberts, seconded by Ammons. Any uh, additions or corrections? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? That motion carries. The committee to verify bills. Michelle? Uh, bills for February, including January interim checks. Town fund is $42,551.84. General assistance fund is $26,311.23. Okay. Any questions about the bills? No. I didn't have them, and I, so I move approval of the town fund and general assistance fund as shown. Second. Okay, motion by Robert, second by Ammons. Any other discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? That motion carries. Reports of officers. Um, I just wanted to take a minute and thank um, the people that helped us with the coat drive that we had from December 30th to January 30th. Um, one office is the city clerk's office. They were a drop-off site for coats for us. Um, some of the county administrative offices out at Brookins, the public works department, and Express Car Care on Vine Street here in Urbana was also a drop-off, as was the township building. And as of today, I think the total was approximately around 98 coats and then we had a ton of hats and gloves and scarves that were donated and then um, some people that came into the township took some we had a big box out in the lobby that they could take from and we kept replenishing it every day and then Dan went on canteen runs at night and gave um, some out during that and then the Champaign-Urbana Public Health District opened their doors as a warming center and then they had called they had about 13 homeless people and we took a bunch of stuff over there also so and I wanted to thank you know the people in the community that helped because everything has been dispersed out we do not have one coat in our possession <laughs> so okay. thank you oh well thank you for doing that sure. and do you still need more we, with it being as cold as it still is, we wouldn't turn any away. We still have our box up in our lobby. Mm -hmm. um, I know that uh, I brought in three from home and the caseworker brought in a couple from her house. So the employees are now going through their closets and their kids' closets and, you know, seeing what we can. So, I mean, we will always take, you know, as, as the weather permits in the homeless you know and those that aren't homeless that just come into our office need they take it so we would always be willing to take more okay thank you very much thanks um, petitions and communications I have one person that wants to address the township board meeting uh, Carol McCusick I, I don't know if there's a, a um, a, uh, a, um, a, a directive, like a, 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 a explanation of the law from the state of Illinois about whether um, in the case of minutes, in order to give the matter that's up for final action, like approval of last month's Cunningham Township Board, uh, um, it was up for final action. You acted on it. You, you passed um, pass those minutes does that mean does the state of Illinois say that means that the draft minutes need to be posted 
uh, um, 48 hours in advance like the agenda? Because I'm just continuing, that's a question, but I'm continuing it because um, I didn't see, uh, um, I don't think I saw at the web page um, uh, for tonight's Cunningham Town Board the um, um, uh, minutes, just the agenda. So um, I don't know if anybody talked about or I don't, and I actually don't know if that would make it into the minutes if it was explained at all about the annual township meeting. Um, but uh, last year it wasn't well attended. Um, Bill Brown and, and Charlie Smythe were there and they were talking as though it was an <coughs> obsolete institution, in fact. So if anybody feels differently, um, <laughs> they might, might, might want to come. The, to that, and um, the, if you want to know what it's, that whole deal is about, uh, it need, you need to um, look at it right away because there's um, getting, that you, you can get stuff on the agenda, but you have to petition for it in advance. And this, the information about it <coughs> is at um, 60, uh, number 60, Illinois Compiled Statutes, and that's where it is. And right near the beginning, uh, under notice of the meeting agenda, has this petitioning thing. The petitions are due March 1st, but you might want to go to the clerk's office and ask her what exactly the columns are that have to be on the petition, because there's no like form for it or anything. Uh, I think that's all I had. <laughs> okay, thank you. How about the question? Any questions? Did, did you have an answer to the question, Michelle or Fred? I don't know the The question was? Does the state of Illinois require you to post the draft minutes as the, uh, the item that you're going to take final action on, on under the, um, does the uh, Open Meetings Act um, imply that? Uh, well, I was at, in this case, I was asking about the draft minutes from last month's Cunningham Township Board. Would they need to be at the web page under the agenda? I haven't read all the 20 billion or so laws in effect in the state of Illinois, but I've never seen such a requirement. Yeah. Um, Eric? My, I, I, I can't cite you the statute, but my impression is that draft minutes of uh, bodies subject to open meetings either may or may not be posted. Uh, of course, the, the, uh, the approved minutes must be posted uh, after they're approved. But I believe, and you know, Fred, you might be able to you know, figure out or, or find your way through the statutes to uh, uh, verify if my impression is right, but I believe that it's up to the discretion of the body itself as to whether draft minutes would be posted prior to the meeting at which the minutes are approved. Okay, you have another question? It's the same question. Um, in um, the um, thing that was uh, bothering me on this score is it, um, 120 slash 2.02C of the Illinois, did I say, uh, uh, five, number five, Illinois Compiled Statutes 120 slash 2.02C. Um, the clerk, Phyllis Clark. Okay, to answer the question about the draft minutes, According to everything that I have learned as a municipal clerk, draft minutes are simply what that states, draft minutes. Those minutes are subject to change when the council comes before or the, say for instance, the town board comes before. So those minutes are not permanent. And we're only supposed to post the minutes that have been approved by the body. So we do not post draft minutes under no uncertain terms because they're not the final minutes, because they can be changed anytime. 
Okay. Thank you very much. Is there anyone else who would like to address the town board? Okay. Um, unfinished business. I don't believe we have any to deal with. New business. There being no further business, this meeting is adjourned. Thank you all very much. <laughs>